This is a redefining podcast, a space that is created to inspire you to make positive, healthy, and intentional decisions. You will be pushed to create a new path, change habits, and shift your thoughts. If you are on the search to find happiness, understanding, peace within your mind, this is the podcast for you. I am your host, Chaz, and welcome to the Redefining Podcast. Hey, hey, everyone. Welcome back to the Redefining Podcast. I am your host, Chaz, and I am so excited to jump right into today's topic. So today, y'all, is something that I just need to talk about. So I hope that you all find interest in what we are going to share today and Hopefully you take something away from this and I would love to connect with you all later so I can take something away from you as well. So to jump right into this, you all, today we are going to talk about second chances, third chances, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, however many chances you out here given, we're going to talk about it. So just to give you all an overview of what I envision for my podcast, because the first episode, we talked about Black Lives Matter and kind of was just like a rough draft into it. Um, I have since then, I've had some time to plan out what I really want this to look like. And, you know, things are forever going to change because that's just who I am. So it will look like this. Um, I'm going to start with a quote. We're going to explore some questions. I will talk about my experiences. I will share some next steps that I will want to leave as challenges for you all. And then overall, our final thoughts. So let's go ahead and let's jump right into this. Okay, you all. So I was online and I was looking for a quote that kind of goes off of today's topic, which is second chances to forgive or to not to forgive or to just move on and no forgiveness at all. Forget you, everything about you. We're going to get all into that. Um, And the quote that I found was, a second chance doesn't mean anything if you didn't learn from it first. And listen, sir, this one right here is sat with me and I was like that's the one Pooh. okay that is the one a second chance doesn't mean anything if you didn't learn from it first so just to get a little bit into my ex- well before we jump into my experiences here is some qu- questions that I want you all to think about as we go throughout our topic today the first question that I want you all to explore is what do second chances mean to you What do second chances mean to you? The people that you usually give second chances to, do you feel like they deserve them? Do you feel like you should have given them a second chance to even begin with? And also, like, do you usually move on and don't forgive and you don't forget? Or do you usually forgive and you forget or do you usually forgive and you don't forget so throughout today's podcast just take some time and kind of think about those little three to four questions as we jump into my experience honey so there's a number of experiences that I can talk to you all about but the one that is the most recent for me has to be just my dating life y'all like my dating life is just I don't even know the word for it We'll have to do a whole nother podcast about that. Um, that's coming soon. But recently, um, just a little bit, to give you a little bit of background knowledge, I was talking to this guy, and um, for not not long at all, it was only like a month, and it was a very toxic relationship. And today, um, The day that I'm recording this makes three days that I haven't been talking to this individual because I just decided that, like, you need to let it go. Like, it's toxic. You're mentally drained. You're emotionally drained. The way you're being treated is just not okay. And I must say, y'all, throughout my relationship with this person, like, well, getting to know this person, 
I witnessed things that like I've never witnessed from a man at all or just in general, like just from anyone. And it was really like, it was a lot. I'm still trying to put everything together because like I said, it's only been three days since I stopped talking to him. But what I do know is that I shouldn't have given him a second chance. Um, Initially, when he showed his true colors, I tried to walk away and I told him, like, I know better than this. I shouldn't be doing this with you. And I allowed him to tell me that he'll make it better and um, prove himself to be right. So I know you're probably wondering, like, what did he do? Because it probably sounds like I was in a, a, a physically abusive relationship. And I don't want you all to think that, like, I wasn't physically abused at all. I've never been physically abused by a man at all. Um, but I was verbally abused. And um, this person had a temper. And when they would get upset, they would just kind of say things that, no woman should hear and not necessarily like being called out my name or anything like that um but just stuff like cussing at me and saying um for an example um I have bitches like I don't have to deal with this and I'm just gonna be real with y'all because that's what the redefining podcast is about but just certain things that no man should say rather you think them or not I feel like you thinking it is a challenge, but don't share it because it becomes a bigger, more challenge. So that's just a little bit of background information about what where I'm going to speak from today when I just talk about like second chances and my experiences with second chances. Yeah. So um, something that I've truly had to learn you are is who is the second chance for? Like who is the individual? And throughout my month of talking to this guy, I would say this to him, like, as an individual, you're just not thoughtful, you're just not caring, you're just not, it was just a number of things that he wasn't, and because he lacked these type of characteristics that I like in any man that I'm dating, I felt like it was a ripple onto his actions towards me and why I shouldn't have given him as many chances as I did. You are every single day there was something else, there was something new, arguing every 30 minutes over something. We didn't have good days, we had good moments, and for some toxic reason, I just continue to stay in this every day, you know. So, looking back, like it truly just like has affected me, and I'm not proud of that decision. And I've just been taking a lot of time just trying to like take care of myself after being on overload for almost a month and dealing with someone that treated me this way um so yeah so enough of that enough about him he's gone he's not coming back there's no more chances being given to him so um something that I always try to consider when giving second chances or more than one third fourth fifth chance to someone is who is the individual? Is this person capable of learning from the mistake that they made if I give them a second chance to make it right? If I give them another chance to make it right? Um, to add to that, a big part of it, a big part to excuse me, is like what occurred. I think that's something that we truly need to look at. Like, you can't what? just have this general way of resolving conflict like sometimes you have to deviate from that and alter it based off of who the individual is and what happened in that situation um so for an example if you piss me off and now I'm upset I tend to shut down and I'll take some time for myself and when I'm ready I'll come back and have the conversation But in the instance of being a teacher, like, I can't do that in the moment. I have to address it for what it is. And that was just something that I'm still learning. Like, um, what occurred and what type of treatment does this person need in this moment that pertains to them? If that makes sense. Also, um, take some time and think about, like, how did it affect you? So, 
when these individuals are doing these things to you, what did it do to you? Like, how did it make you feel? Um, what was given? Was anything added in the moment? What was subtracted in a moment? What did you feel like you lost in a moment due to what this person did to you? And can anything good come out of this? This meaning, can anything come out of you giving them a second chance? Or are you doing it simply just because of your own loneliness or your own insecurities? If I forgive this individual again, what good would it bring to me? So consider yourself, you know, make yourself a priority because you are, you are a very important individual and ultimately like we treat people how to teach us. So if you allow people to walk all over you and be a doormat, they're going to say sorry and it's not going to be sincere and most likely they'll turn around and do it again. So, you know, be kind of strict, stern and share what you feel and demand what you know you deserve and don't fold from that okay so next you all I want to talk about um some next steps because I don't want this podcast to be too long and the biggest thing I want you all to think about is if you was to give someone the second chance who would it be for is it for the individual? Are you trying to use it as a teachable moment to them and um, allow them to get an experience that they probably would never have again or to show them that um, they're worthy to be loved or to show them that, like, you have an anger problem, but I'll help you fix it. So, like, who is the second chance for? Is it for you because you feel like this person do have potential underlying whatever the mistake could have been or whatever that thing could have been that caused them, caused you to even reconsider if you should move forward with this person or not. Um, So kind of look at all of that. Like look at like who the second chance is for. And um, if you give that second chance, like what good would come out of it? A big part of all of this you are is trust and forgiveness and this is something that I am being more compassionate with for myself is truly being able to have the ability and strength to allow someone to be like true to me or true to you yeah, true to me and not pretty much sit in like that hurt and what they did and trust that like whatever it is they're trying to do to make it better I will let you do like I will let you show me that and not always go back to that hurt place and what you did to even inflict the pain on me in the first place so it gets really tough and it has been really hard for me because I try to forgive and I try to build trust with an individual that has caused hurt to me and I'm triggered or I'm just reminded of like I shouldn't have done this like in the first place So my next step, my personal next step will have to be looking at all of these things that I just shared with you all. What occurred? How did it affect me? Is anything good going to come out of this? Who is the individual as the individual? And um, do they add to me? Do they add any any value to me? I've um, always been the person when I get upset or when someone does something to me that is hurtful I take time for myself and then I try to you know just manage my stress um so I'm not in the moment hostile and I'm not like I'm not usually the person that's yelling and cursing people out or anything like that like I will ignore you and I will shut down and when I'm ready I'll come back but I'm learning that like this again isn't healthy and most situations um I'm learning that like yes I can do that but set it up to where the person know this is what I need in that moment so it can simply look like hey um a lot on my mind right now I just truly need to take some time and I'll revisit this with you later opposed to stand in those situations when they're when they're hot and it's only getting hotter don't fight fire with fire it's 
not healthy and most times it just it goes more south and that is not the plan at all um so yeah um that's pretty much where I stand with this I've been struggling with um how to give who to give second chances to and it not blowing up in my face because what I do know is that most times when I have given second chances, third chances, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, I've always felt like I shouldn't have done that. So I'm just trying to teach myself that, you know, it's okay. It's it's truly okay. Chances really do give us the opportunity to evolve as individuals and they truly do help us build healthy relationships but in the beginning we just have to know is it even worth it or not by just looking at the individual and how they treat us so yeah my final thoughts on all of this to close everything up is find when you want to forgive and to forgive people um yeah, I'm going to keep that as simple as that. Find when you want to forgive and forget people. Um, consider these things. Always assess the situation and don't make excuses for people when you're giving them another chance. Make sure they acknowledge their mistake and what they've done to you. Make sure they apologize in a sincere manner so that you are okay with moving forward even when it seems hard you know ask yourself do you feel like you can work through it together is it something you need to work through individually and come back and possibly then try again is this a pattern is this something that this person does over and over again and they apologize over and over again but nothing is changing can you trust them? Rather, you had trust and they ruined it. Can you rebuild trust? Is the relationship good? Good. We have to know what good looks like. I'm not going to get into that, but good. Because some people think things that are unhealthy and detrimental are good for them. Good. Value. Quality. Productive. Insightful. <laughs> good healthy good 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 people okay and lastly are they willing to make compromises because if you were the one who was hurt in a situation most time it's time for the other person to work a little bit harder to prove what they need to prove to regain your trust your love and everything above that so yeah um that's pretty much all i want to talk about with you all today um, I don't want this to be too much longer. I can go on and on about this, but just wanted to share this with you all for episode two. I am continuing to work through this and I want to work through this with you all as well, too. So I would love for you to connect with me. And for today's episode, I want you to connect with me on my Instagram page, which is the brand underscore defining Chaz. I'm going to put a post up there and underneath the post. I want to hear from you. Do you usually forgive, forget? What do you usually do? How often do you usually give second chances, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, eight, ninth <laughs> chances if you do give them? And what has went well from you for you when you have given a second chance? Ooh, that came out so wrong. What has went well for you? Ooh, again, what has went well for you when you've given a second chance? Um, and what has went wrong? Um, let's talk about it. So meet me at my Instagram page. Again, it's the brand underscore defining Chaz. I'll put it on the screen here so you all can check it out. And I would love to hear more from you all there. Until next time, I want you all to take care of yourself. And like I always like to say, do more. Choose the life that you love. I am your host, Chaz, and I will catch you all in episode three of the Redefining Podcast. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to like this video as well. Gotta go. Thanks for the continued support. And if you like this video, please subscribe for more videos.